Hey guys, my name is Jay and in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to add products to WooCommerce and you can actually start making money. So I have here three t-shirts that I added. I already installed WooCommerce and added those three t-shirts in a couple minutes. Okay. So what I'm going to, I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my dashboard right here. And after you install WooCommerce, what, what you're going to see is the WooCommerce tab and products tab all right so the most important thing to do before adding products is going to your settings and start setting up everything all right for example locations your currency all this important stuff that you need to get done before you start selling um, you have your products options right here um, um, your tax shipping all the things that you need to set up and they are not that um you know complicated they're actually easy i think the most uh important thing here is the shipping so make sure you have your shipping uh set set up correctly because if not you're gonna get some uh issues with your customers and stuff all right now your checkout and your payment options are very simple. For example, I have here PayPal, which is the only thing you need is your email and that's it. I just added my email and that's it. I can get money from people with PayPal right now. Okay. All right. So make sure you set up all this before you start selling. Okay. Now, what I want to do is show you how the products are added. So let's go down here to products and click on products. All right, so you can see that I have here three products already added, but I'm going to add a new one. So I'm going to click on add product. And here you have all the options for the product. They are pretty simple. So let's choose the name. Let's say alien five, for example, um, this is the product description right here. I'm just going to copy and paste some Lottom Ipsum for this example. All right. Let's say this is my, um, product description right here. And down here, you can scroll all the way down and you have a product short description. So this can, I don't know, this, can, this one can be a little shorter. Let me show you how that looks. Uh, let's click on this one. So as you can see here, we have a, a short description and you, when you scroll down, you have the full description down here. So I just wanted to show you that so you can understand what I'm doing right here. Okay. Now, I want to go here to select what kind of product I want, right? So simple product is a product that doesn't have more options, more options like size, color. So it's a simple product. Okay. Now here you add your price. Let's say the t-shirt is $20 um, sales price. Let's say I have a sales right now for it's selling right now for 15 bucks. So it was the regular price 20, but now it's selling at 15. Okay. Inventory. Yes. Um, so I'm going to check manage stock. And let's say I have like 10 t-shirts, for example, SKU or SKU. It's a code for your t-shirt, like a unique code. Back orders. Uh, no, I never do back orders. Back orders means that when you go out of stock, that people can uh, order, even if you are out of stock. Now let's go to the shipping tab. Make sure you have all this set it up right here if it's needed. 
Right now I have a flat rate on my shipping. I think it's like $5. So I don't have to set up this, okay? No matter what, it's gonna cost $5. But maybe that's not your case. Maybe you want a, uh, you know, a very specific uh, shipping method. So go to the um, WooCommerce settings and set up uh, your shipping before uh, start selling. Okay. Linked products. Uh, this is about you know grouping your products, upsells, and stuff like that. Attributes. We're gonna uh, use this in a minute. Okay. And advanced options, well, this is like, for example, a, a note uh, for the customer. So let's say you want to say thank you for buying this alien t-shirt or whatever, okay? And the order and um, yeah, this is all, I'm going to leave it like that, okay? I need to add this product on a category. I have shirts here. You can add a new one if you want. You can add tags and my product image. So I'm going to click there. All right. That's the one that we want. Set the product image. All right. So it seems like we have everything done. I'm going to click update or publish if it's new. Okay. And let's see how it looks. All right, so because we have a sale, remember, we change it in here. We have a regular price of 20 and sale of 15, All right? So we have a sale. They add this little image here. We have the $15 right there. We have 10 in stock. You can, in, in the settings, you can hide this. You don't have to show this to your customers, right? The SKU and the category. All right. It seems that we are done with this product. Now, I want uh, the option to choose on colors because I have one, on, uh, one in black and one in white. So I need the option. So I'm going to go back to the product. I'm going to change it to variable product. Okay. Now this means it's going to add variations, okay? And now we need to add some attributes, All right? Because when you go to variations, it's going to say before you can add variation, you need attributes. Okay, awesome. So if you go to the products tab, you will see on this list that we have attributes right here, okay? Let's click there. All right, so we're going to add one attribute is going to be color. Okay. I'm going to leave this just like that is going to be a selection. Yes. Add attribute. Now we have color right here. Now I'm going to click on this gear right here, this icon. And now in here, we're going to add our colors. So we have black. Add new color. All right. And we have white. And add new color. All right. So we have white and black. It's all under color. Perfect. That's what I want. In attributes, I'm going to click here at color and add. Okay. So it's going to ask you is you want it to be visible on the product page? Yes. And I want it. You want to use it under variations. And now I can go here to the terms, right, the values and add white and add black. Now save attributes. All right. Now we can go to variations and now we have the option to add variations. But I'm gonna do or what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create like all the variations. You know, you we have the options, the option to create variation from all attributes. So it's gonna create the black and white uh, option for us. Now I'm gonna click go. Yeah, it's gonna say, are you sure that you want? Yes. 
It says two variations added. Yes, because it's only black and white, so it's two variations, okay? And here you go, you have black and white. Now, what you have to do is click on this little arrow right here, and it's going to show you all the options for black and the same thing in white, okay? So I'm gonna go to the black and yes, it's enable. I actually want to manage the stock because I have like 10 whites and 20 blacks. So let's say we have 20 blacks, the black cost $30. We have 20 in stock. No back orders, it's in stock. Here you can actually add these options like weight and stuff like that. Uh, different uh, shipping class, description. But I'm gonna leave this, um, these options like that. So I just, I just added the price, the stock, and make sure that you have in stock option right there. So we're gonna go to the white now, right? This one, let's say it cost uh, I don't remember what I said. Let's say uh, the black was 20, let's say $15 or whatever you want really. Um, yes, manage stock from here. So we have like 10 of this one. All right, and you can change these options too, okay? Now, you can see this little icon right here. It's gonna say upload image. So this is the black t-shirt, set that image right there and click on the white one and click on the white shirt. That's it. This one is the black one and this one is the white one. Awesome. Now I'm gonna click here and click here. Cool. If you wanna remove one of those, you can click remove right there and that's it. Um, so yeah, I think I think we are ready. I'm gonna update this product. Let's take a look at it. And here you can see we have now a like a, a selection here. It says color, and when I click on it, it said black and white. Awesome. Let's click on white, and the image changed. black and the image change love it love it all right so and the price sets from 15 to 30 because uh the white is 15 dollars as you can see here and the black is 30. that's awesome and it's the same thing with colors and same thing with any op any other option that you have with your product and is easy as that. Now I'm gonna click add to cart. And you will see this, view cart. And here we go, we have the product right there. You see I have, uh, and on the shipping I have only a flat rate set it up, $5. And um, the total is 20, proceed to checkout. And here they're gonna ask you your information and stuff. And you can see here we have total and we have PayPal to pay for this product. It's that easy. Right now I can start selling this product and that's it. Simple as that. So I hope you guys like this and um, if you have questions, comment below or email me. And if you want to keep learning about WordPress and other stuff, just watch my videos every week and I see you there. Thank you.